Mr. Breck, will you please state your full name and present address for the record, please? Speaking to the microphone. My name is Petrolt Breck. I'm living at the 34 West 73rd Street, New York. I'm born, born in Augsburg, Germany, February the 10th, 1898. Uh, Mr. Brack, are you a member of the Communist Party, or have you ever been a member of the Communist Party? May I read my statement? I'll answer this question. May I read, but may I read my statement? Uh, would you after? submit your right. statement to the Let's chairman? Mr. Brack, Mr. Brack, the committee has carefully gone over the statement. It's a very interesting story of uh, German life, but it's not at all pertinent to this inquiry. Therefore, we do not care to have you read the statement. Now, I'll, I'll repeat the original question. Uh, are you now, have you ever been a member of the Communist Party of any country? <coughs> Mr. Chairman, I have heard uh, my colleagues uh, uh, and they considered this question not as proper, but I am a guest in this country and do not want to enter in any legal arguments, so I will answer your question fully as well I can. I was not a member or am not a member of any communist party. You have never been a member of the Communist Party. That is correct. You, you were not a member of the Communist Party for Germany? No, I was not. Uh, Mr. Bright, is it true that you have written a number of very revolutionary Poems, plays, and other writings? I have uh, written a number of poems and songs and plays in the fight against Hitler, and of course they can be considered, therefore, as revolutionary because I, of course, was for the overthrow of that government. But Mr. Griffin, we're not interested in yeah. any words that he might have written uh, calling for the overthrow of Germany yes, or I'm the government there. Have many of your writings been based upon the uh, philosophy of Lenin, Marx, no, I don't think that is quite correct. And, uh, but, of course, uh, I studied, I had to study as a playwright, I think, who wrote historic plays. I, of course, had to study, to study uh, uh, Marx's ideas about history. I do not think that uh, intelligent plays today, today can be written without uh, that study. Also, history now is uh, written now is widely influenced by this, by the studies of Marx about history. Uh, Mr. Breck, since you have been in uh, the United States, have you attended any Communist Party meetings? No, I do not think so. You don't think so? No. Well, aren't you certain? No. I'm, 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 I'm certain, I think. You're yes. certain that you've never attended? Yeah. Quite, I think so. You have, yeah. yeah, you see, yeah, I'm here six years. I'm here six years. I do not think so. That, that do not think so I attended, that I attended uh, political uh, meetings. No, no, never mind political meetings, but have you attended any communist meetings in the United States? I do not think so. No. You're certain? I think I'm certain. You think you're certain? Yeah. I mean, you don't know 
Uh, uh, I have not attended such meetings, uh, in my opinion. Uh, Mr. Breck, did you ever make application to join the Communist Party? Uh, I do not understand uh, the, question, uh, the question. Did I make... Have you ever made application to join the Communist Party? Of no, any no, 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 no. Never. Uh, Mr. Chairman, we have... I was, independent, and I was an independent writer, and I wanted to be an independent writer, and I pointed that out. And also, uh, theoretically, I think uh, it was the best for me not to, not to join any party, whatever. And all these things you, you read here were not only see, uh, written for the German communists, but they were also written for, the, for workers of any other kind. Social democratic work, workers were in these uh, this performances, so were Catholic workers from Catholic unions. So were workers which never had been in a party or didn't want to go into a party. Mr. Breck, did uh, Gerhard Eisler ever ask you to join the Communist Party? No, no. Did Hans Eisler ever ask you to join the Communist Party? No, he did not. I think he considered me just as a writer who wanted to write the truth as he saw it, but not as a political figure. Uh, would um, the committee like me to read that? Yes, without objection, so it is. Forward, we've not forgotten our strength in the fights we have won. No matter what may threaten, forward, not forgotten. How strong we are as one. Only these our hands now aching built the roads, the walls, the towers. All the world is of our making. What of it, what of it can we call ours? The refrain, forward, March on to power, through the city, the land, the world. Forward, advance the hour. Just whose city is the city, just whose world is the world. Forward, we've not forgotten. Our union in hunger and pain, no matter what may threaten. Forward, not forgotten. We have a world to gain. We shall free the world of shadow. Every shop and every room, every road and every meadow, all the world will be our own. Did you write that, Mr. Frank? No, uh, I wrote a German poem, but that is very different you see, from this thing. Uh, that's all the questions I have, Mr. Chairman. Thank you very much, Mr. Breck.